Kathy, though, I mean, let's let's put this in perspective also. The stock is down for a reason, partly because there's a fear of a possible capital raise that has to happen down the line. Yeah. They may have to issue more stock, raise more money, and that's going to dilute existing shareholders. Are you concerned about that aspect of Tesla, that they are burning through cash and that they need to raise more, and that could put pressure on the stock? Well, I believe that's in well, the stock. would you welcome that? We, exactly. It's, it's really a question I have, because uh, what I wonder is why this is a company company who has enormous um, cash burn and, and an enormous opportunity. This is the trillion dollar idea with a exactly. trillion dollars worth of issues around it. Yeah. Um, and I would be out there raising money tomorrow. Can the company not raise money? Sure. Oh, it can raise money. I don't think Elon wants to do it at this valuation. I think he thought and the company thought that their autonomy day last week was going to give them a nice opportunity that the, that once analysts understood how uh, how how far ahead of the competition they are, whether it's Waymo or Cruz, in terms of autonomy and how soon it is going to evolve and the, uh, that they would be able to raise. What happened last week came clear to me is the analysts following this stock don't know how to analyze it because they're, it's, it's not a technology stock. It is that. It's not a car company. Yes, it is. Battery. It's utility. It's, it's something for everyone and no one can pull it all together. We have set out our research teams. We have broken them out, not by sector, but by innovation platform. So we have a robotics, autom autonomous vehicles or robots, energy storage, they will be electric. Artificial intelligence, they will be powered by artificial intelligence. Transportation as a service, we have four analysts collaborating on this. I don't think research departments out there are set up to analyze this stock. There is an amazing inefficiency, that. amazing inefficiency in this stock. It is our highest conviction idea for a reason. So so, so let's do this. Tim, you you, you as a, a, a manager and a former long short portfolio manager have traded around positions, trimmed, added to, yep. that sort of thing. Is it fair to say, Kathy, at ARK Invest, that just because Tesla is your top holding, that you just hold it there, or are you constantly managing around that position in and out? So uh, disruptive innovation is characterized by controversy and volatility. And so we know we're going to get opportunities to buy stocks. We lie in wait for those opportunities. Many people think of, because of what we do, disruptive innovation, that we're momentum driven. Absolutely not. We, we lie in wait. So if you, just Tesla, take Tesla alone, 2018, you're right, the roller coaster. If you take away the performance of the stock, which was up last year, just take that away and just look at what happened, what, what we delivered in alpha because of our trading around controversy, we delivered 175 basis points just from Tesla. And we get opportunities like that throughout the portfolio. And I think that's impressive. And I think that's kind of a matter that I would want to be tactically, along with a fundamental view, invested with. Um, I would push back on that volatility. First of all, congrats for laying in the weeds and, and buying stuff cheap. And that it's been proven out this year in your portfolio. Um, but I look at a stock like Tesla, and over a five-year period, the stock's done nothing with being one of the most volatile stocks in, in the world, um, at least of the mega cap stocks. So I look at, and I could cherry pick numbers, but I could say, you know, really off the, 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 the high of 2014, um, you're down 20% by holding Tesla for five years when supposedly it had a huge competitive advantage. Yeah. There was no competitors in their space. Right. It was being priced as a technology company. Um, and the stock really at a point where now it looks like there's some balance sheet issues. The competition's never been heavier, although I think you'll push back on that. I think oh, I, I appreciate your argument, which is that they're not an auto company. They're but, not a tech company. They're but even more, just let's take the electric vehicle, the, the Model S. 2012 it was launched. Yep. Not one of those competitors is anywhere near it. We're seven years later. Now let me take your other point. This trading around, this trading range, you as a trader and investor, but I, as a trader also, understand that when you build a base like that, one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to break down, and that's what a lot of the bears have been betting on, and they've been using every, throwing everything at it, or it's going to break out. Clearly, we believe it's going to break out. And the longer the base, you say five years, the longer the base, the longer you know, is a, the yes. bigger the breakout. Tesla stock has nearly 60% upside, according to one Wall Street analyst. Sales from Tesla's energy generation and storage segment accounted for about 6% of revenue in 2023.
A lower priced vehicle might be the next major focus for Tesla, but its energy storage business also has long term potential. Tesla's energy storage business could be worth more than the EV business, says one Wall Street firm. Despite a 52 week range of about $150 to $300 per share, Tesla is, appro Tesla is approximately flat over the last year, making it the worst performing stock in the Magnificent 7. Demand for electric vehicles has fallen while supply has grown. Tesla is in a price war with competitors in the important Chinese market, pushing its profit margin lower. But one Wall Street analyst still sees growth ahead for the company, just not necessarily with Tesla's EV offerings. The RBC analyst Tom Narayan thinks Tesla's battery storage mega pack business could be, could be worth substantially more than its car business. That has led him to rate Tesla's stock a buy with a price target of $297 per share. That would represent a gain of 58% from where it trades as of this writing. And when it comes to the renewable energy solution, the growth of renewable energy solutions to combat climate change has run into obstacles. Solar and wind solutions can't generate energy consistently or for long enough stretches at a time. And Tesla CEO Elon Musk thinks that mega packs, utility scale battery storage packs are the solution, especially as more EVs on the road increase the need for electricity generation. Tesla's energy generation and storage business segment accounted for about 6% of total revenue in 2023 with sales of $6 billion. But um, the RBC analyst calculates that by 2040, if Tesla has even just a 15% share of a potential 600 billion battery storage market, sales from this business could reach $90 billion, which would be massive. That would almost match Tesla's total revenue this year. And this we are talking about just from what's possible in the energy storage business. And based on those estimates, the energy generation and storage business is worth $120 billion to Tesla in 2024. And that's over 20% of Tesla's current market cap for a segment that isn't yet priced into the company's valuation. RBC also feels that a conservative estimate considering Tesla's cost advantage could allow it to take outsized market share. And while the introduction of a lower priced EV might be the next major catalyst for Tesla stock, its energy business could be the longer term value driver for an investor buying shares today. And apart from this, one of the biggest reasons to buy Tesla stock is if you really consider Tesla to be a company more than an electric car maker. So is Tesla a tech company? Many financial analysts and investors see Tesla as a technology company rather than a car company. At least that's how they justified the growth of its stock price starting in 2013 when it shot up by more than 300% within a single year. And publications scrambled to find similarities between Tesla and companies from the other technological sector which had similar growth rates. And online publication Slate even ran a piece that compared Tesla to Apple and Alphabet. And back then, Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas, who's been a Tesla bull since the company's early days, gave the stock a price target of $103 at full, full maturation. But by May 25th of 2022, Tesla stock was trading at $661. And there are several points of similarity between Tesla and the tech sector. Tesla has embraced the disruption credo of the tech sector, much like other tech companies. Tesla is intent on changing existing business models within the stodgy automotive industry by selling directly to consumer. Its product pipeline and founder evoke a loyal following similar to those for iconic tech companies such as Apple. And investors in Tesla, like investors in many technological companies, stayed patient through a long period of quarterly losses and they were finally rewarded. Tesla recorded its first yearly profit in the first quarter of 2021. And the bottom line for Tesla's stock here is that this is the biggest obstacle to the mass adoption of electric vehicles. It cannot happen without the infrastructure to, ch to change on the go. Tesla plans to continue adding to its network of supercharger stations in the US, Europe and Asia. Tesla did not invent the electric car or even the luxury electric car. But Tesla did invent a successful business model for bringing compelling electric cars to the market. And part of the strategy was building a network of charging stations to solve one of the greatest obstacles facing the adoption of electric vehicles, which was refueling on longer trips. And Tesla's unique business model, which includes keeping control over sales and services, is one reason its stock has soared since its initial public offering. And even though Tesla is, gro is growing at a very good pace, it is very important for Tesla to stay ahead of the curve because of increased electric vehicle competition. Tesla is not the first company to create electric cars. 
Interestingly, the first electric automobile was probably created as early as 1834 by Thomas Davenport, but Tesla seems to be the most successful one so far. So Tesla's stock still has a number of key risks that it will face in the next 5-10 to 10 years. And notable risks include Tesla cars being too expensive with tax breaks and the construction of its gigafactory taking longer than expected. More broadly speaking, Tesla faces a competitive environment from both legacy automakers and other EV manufacturers. Tesla's future success will depend heavily on ramping up manufacturing capacity and infrastructure and though Tesla seems to be doing that very well but suddenly the demand has gone down. And the other thing which the investors have to be careful about and there is a lot of positives for Elon Musk being the CEO of the company but Tesla brand being closely associated with Elon Musk, a CEO whose visionary ambitions are matched by his propensity for scandals and controversies. So if something goes bad for Elon Musk, Tesla stock would be affected well, at the end of the day, it all comes down to how well Tesla can do in the non-EV sector, which, I mean, apart from electric sales, what is that Tesla can do from here? Full self-driving software, Tesla's humanoid robot, the Optimus, and even the release of Cybertruck, all these things could make a very good couple of years for Tesla because long-term EV leadership is arguably enough of a reason to own Tesla stock. Still, the company's long-term catalyst could elevate investment returns over the coming decades and the long-term value of Tesla stock could come down to these three crucial projects that I've mentioned before. Full self-driving software, the cyber truck and Tesla's humanoid robot which is the Optimus. So that's it guys from here today. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. I hope you all have a good day.